Good day everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we are going to have a review on the topics that we have discussed this quarter in electronic products assembly and servicing. What is a safety checklist? A document used during safety inspections for the identification of potential hazards. How do you troubleshoot electronic components in the circuit? Check for the exploded or burnt parts of the circuit by seeing and smelling them. What type of metallic cable can be used as power rate cable? THHN slash THWN. What device stores electrical charge? Capacitor. It is a device used to reduce current flow. Resistor. What device is used to allow an electric current to pass in one direction? Diode. What device is used to amplify electronic signals and electrical power? Transistor. Why is transistor important? Because it makes excellent electronic switches. What small chip can function as an amplifier, oscillator, timer, microprocessor, or even computer memory? Integrated circuit. How many cable pairs are there in a CAT5E cable? 4. What do safety precautions checklists provide? Practical training in safety awareness. A product has a safety defect if it does not meet the level of safety the public is entitled to expect, which is a possible defect of a product. Manufacturing defect. What is a defect in manufacturing? When the product defect from its interested design. What is the common fault of a capacitor? Oil leakage, internal sound is abnormal, and expansion of the shell. What is the best way to protect your hard drive data? Regularly make a backup. What input device allows you to type the information into the computer? Keyboard. Which of the following key combination will you use to save files? Control plus S. It is a device used primarily to provide hard copy. Printer. What type of computer devices are the speakers or headphones? Output. It is also called the screen or monitor. Display. Some group of input devices. Mouse, keyboard, scanner. What type of device is a digital camera? Input. Why is PowerPoint known as a presentation application? It uses slides to convey information rich in multimedia. What compact disc can be written once and read arbitrarily many times? CDR disc. How often do we clean up running disc? Once a week. What is the procedure in disc cleanup? Number 1. Open disc want to clean up. Number 2. Know which drive you want to clean up. Number 3. Select the appropriate drive to click. And number 4. Check each of the boxes for cleanup. Why is it necessary to unplug electrical equipment before cleaning? To prevent current flow. If dust contains conductive particles, what will happen? It can minimize heat. What is the first step in cleaning laser printer? Vacuum inside printer. What is the instrument that serves as three measuring instruments in one? VOM. Waveforms is produced by what device? Signal generator. VOM is rested in what position if an off option is not available? 250 vac. Place instruments in a cool dry place and away from any blank devices. Magnetic devices. What measuring instrument should be given regular checkup by connecting them to power line? Oscilloscope. Always cut the wires at a right angle. Never rock from side to side or bend wire back and forth against the cutting edges. Never substitute pliers for a wrench when turning bolts and nuts. Pliers can grip these items properly and might cause a slip and create an accident. Do not bend or apply side loads to blades by using them to open cans or loosen tight cover of containers. Blades are brittle and can snap easily. Never use screwdrivers with broken or worn out handles. Screwdrivers of these kinds should have tags to indicate that it is defective. Do not increase the handle length of pliers to gain more leverage. Use a larger pair of pliers or bolt cutters if necessary. Use only standard tools and instruments in performing any electronic job. Do not use a tool or instrument you are not familiar with. Always use the right tool for the right job. If possible, work with only both hands while working in a live circuit. Your working area must be kept clean, in order, and free from any object that might hamper your work. Keep all tools and instruments in a safe place like a toolbox or tool cabinet to avoid accidents and easy access when these tools are needed for use. Be sure you are always physically fit when working with electrical or electronic circuits. Keep yourself insulated from earth ground when working on a power line circuit, since one side of the line is connected to the earth. If accidents happen, report immediately to your immediate superior. When your work is done, clean your working table and return all tools and instruments to their proper places. This illustration is a resistor. This illustration is a diode. This illustration is a capacitor. This illustration is a transistor. This illustration is a transformer. That's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. For similar video like this, 
Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.